We're going to take a look at Curl in MATLAB. Now we're going to be referring back to a video which we did previously called Curl Intuition. There were three examples in that video and we're going to work through those three examples in MATLAB. So if you'd like to, you can go back to that video and remind yourself of those examples. So in the first example, we're looking at a vector field given by minus y in the i direction, x in the j direction and 0 in the k direction. So we're really saying that in the z direction there's no variation. And we're doing that just to try and simplify things a little bit. Okay, so this field has drawn out here in MATLAB. Now you have access to an M file that will allow you to go and generate these for yourself, okay? But we'll talk through it first and then we'll go on and we'll have a look at the examples in MATLAB. So let's imagine that we stuck a paddle in this field and you can see this field is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. So you can see then that there's going to be some force striking this paddle in this direction and some force striking the paddle in that direction, which is going to make the paddle turn in an anti-clockwise direction. So it means from the right hand rule that the vector given by the curl is going to be in the, the k direction. And we've seen from the derivation done in the previous video called curl intuition that the curl is going to be given by the value 2kw, okay, where w is the angular uh, velocity. And you can see here that that's just what's been generated in MATLAB. We're going to have a value of 2. Now, again, I've just drawn this out in a kind of simplified format. At this point here, we'll have the curl will be in the k direction. So this is up here, the k, the k direction, and it'll have a magnitude of 2. If you like this blue, this yellow uh, square here represents the magnitude of the curl. But each point here we just have a, a line heading up and it would be height 2. Okay, so that shows the, the curl uh, and it shows it in MATLAB and we get the same results as the derivation that we did in that previous video. Now, we'll show you that in MATLAB just now. So if I bring up MATLAB, we can get that to... Okay, so in MATLAB, there's a, a file uh, that um, I've generated um, called curl.m. Okay, so you've got access to that in the resources section. So you can uh, just have a wee play about with that. So if I was to run that, then it asks me for the curl, com the, the I component of the vector field. So in this case, the I component of the vector field it's going to be given by minus y and it asks me for the j component which is going to be given by x but also ask for a z component so we just put in zero for the z component and this should draw out our our fields okay so that's just exactly what what we've seen okay and you can just move these round about to suit Okay, so that's the uh, the first one. We're going to have a, a little look, and the second part of this, uh, the first one there, we'll see just now. Okay, so now if we were to change that vector field just slightly, so now the vector field is going to be equal to uh, plus y minus j, and the k would be zero. Now the field would be ro rotating in a clockwise direction and it means that the paddle there would be rotating in a clockwise direction so as such if it's rotating in a clockwise direction by the right hand rule the value of the vector the curl uh, is it would be in the k direction and it would be a value of minus 2 okay so that's a value of minus 2 that's exactly what, what we see here okay so let's move on to example number 2 so this example here is given by a vector field which is 0 in the i direction and it's going to be e to the minus y squared 
in the J direction and zero in the K direction. So it's slightly different from the one that we looked at. Uh, we've simplified it a little bit. So in this instance here, you can see that the variation is in the Y direction. But if the paddle's sitting in here, then we've got an equal amount of force on this side of the paddle here as we have on that side of the paddle. So the paddle won't move, it won't rotate, and the curl will be equal to zero. Okay, And we can see up here the curl indeed is given by zero. Now in the final one, we're looking at a vector field which has a, a J component and it's e to the minus x squared. So I've drawn out three different positions here. So the paddle here, there's a paddle sitting in the centre, there's a paddle slightly to the left and a paddle slightly to the right. So you can see the paddle in the centre. We're going to have an equal amount of force on each of the paddles in the left and right. So it means that the, the curl in this paddle is going to be equal to zero. And indeed, all along the central line here, the, part, the, the value here is in fact zero for the curl. Now, in this example here, the paddle slightly shifted to the left. So in that case, that this left right part of the paddle is going to have a greater force than the left, and it will turn in this anti-clockwise direction, which will give us a positive curl. And you can see here, the example, at that point there, the curl is indeed positive. And the final one, the paddle shifted slightly to the right, so it means that there's going to be more force on the left-hand paddle than the right, so it will travel in a clockwise direction, so that will ensure that the curl that we get will be a, a negative value for the curl. Okay, so just as a reminder, then the curl is in fact going to be a vector function, but we've not drawn it as a vector function here, we've just drawn it out as just some scalar, okay, just to get show the, uh, the, the examples, okay. So we've got the value here for our two equations. So our original equation here is e to the minus x squared and the curl is going to be minus 2x e to the minus x squared. And that uh, is it have worked out for us as well in that little bit of script that I've written. Okay, so finally just a couple of points here on the curl. Remember curl is a vector so in this instance here each point in space if it was a three-dimensional uh, flow would have uh, a curl associated with it, so the curl would be the direction of the arrow here for the curl would be determined by the right hand rule, and it would sit normal to the little surface, and the rotation would be given by the right hand rule. And I've drawn each of these out, so three different examples. Another thing to note as well is that in this instance here, if we have a ball and we've painted one side blue and left the other side black. Now if the ball is rotating round in a vector field in an anti-clockwise direction, but if the actual axis of this ball here remains fixed and the ball doesn't rotate round its own axis, so at each position it's still sitting in the same position in the axis as it goes round, then in effect this here won't have, actual, won't have any curl uh, because it's not rotating on its own axis. So there are some aspects of curl that can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so um, I'll show you the code in MATLAB and that will allow us to uh, finish off here. So here is the MATLAB code. The function is called curl. It requests three inputs from the user, an i, a j and a k component, and it puts these into variables x in, y in, and z in. It takes these components, which are a symbolic representation of the function of the field, and then it creates an actual mesh grid uh, on x and y uh, according to this mesh grid here. And it then plots out the quiver plot for it. And all the rest of this here is just to get it into a nice looking format. Okay, and then the second plot here is finding the uh, well, so the second part here 
this uh, helps you to find a curl so it's just a simple um, function here MATLAB function called curl which generates the, the curl and we put the, the values for the curl in a, a variable called CUR we then use the fsurf command in order to plot out that curl and again the rest of this here is just in order to make the figure look uh, nice and just the way I want it okay so that's all there is to this I hope that was of, of use to you I would suggest that what you want to do is to go in and use the code in order to generate some vector fields of your own and check and see your understanding of curl okay so thank you and goodbye